the move to point task is uh, finicky, shall we say. Uh, okay, we could probably dial this accuracy way down. Uh, yeah. Hey, Psycholo, Psycho, Psycho Boy, yeah, Psycho Lol 3 OG, nope, restart, there it is. Uh, so he's definitely running around, um, we did get that working, um, Miki's having some difficulty getting to the specific place that he wants to be. Hey, we're cutting down a tree, yes, alright, we did it. So he can uh, he can successfully get to a place and cut down a tree. Um, awesome. So we could actually dial up this turn rate here to like 10 maybe. And then the accuracy only has to be to within like, within four I think is what I have here. Approximate player reach range. Um, I don't actually know how I found that. I'm wondering if I have, if it's in the entity here. Uh, it's not going to be in the graphics. Prototypes, entity. Demo entities. I think player is in here. Yes. So, is there a reach range in here? Yeah, reach distance is apparently six. So I have plenty of time, plenty of space to to keep going. Um, but I don't know if this is like tiles or, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that was one of the trees within a ten tile. I guess it's twenty tiles distance of where I started. Um, so it's a 20, 20 tile by 20 tile box with the player at the center and it picks one of the trees in that uh, area. It's possibly the one in the top left. I don't know. Um, it's basically what, whatever order they come back from this find entities filtered function. Um, let's do it one more time just uh, make sure now that I've changed that value. So easy when there's no forest in the way. Um, awesome. Cool. So we cut down a tree. Excellent. So that's mining one entity. Next, what we want to do is we want to clear out an area. So the, the idea is that the module planner is going to find a place that the module will work. So for example, um, let's say for our iron ore, uh, like miner and furnace setup, it's going to need to mine a piece of iron ore, dump it into the furnace, which means that it needs to be on top of iron ore. So we're going to find an area where that's suitable. And now that we're going to have a task to clear out all the things that are on top of that, are in that area. So let's create a new file. It's going to be called the clear area task. I have dripped water on my desk and now it's getting my wrist wet and it's very unsettling. Uh, okay, so this is a nice simple task. So we'll just copy and paste that. Make sure I rename it to be clear area task. Do, 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 do. <coughs> This is actually going to use the mine entity task. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do in here is check uh, if there is a self.entity list, if it's not nil, and uh, the number of items in that list is zero, then we're going to return true. So we can just return that expression. All right. So for the clear area task, we're going to make an entity list. Um, so we're going to search the area for all of the entities that could be trouble. Then uh, I, I, there would be obstructions for building the uh, particular module. Then uh, we're going to enqueue a task for each um, What's it called? We're going to enqueue a task for uh, to clear out each of those entities. So let's say we pick an area of a coal patch that's covered in trees. Uh, the clear area task is going to enqueue a mine entity task for each tree uh, on that coal patch that we want to build on. So this one is actually not too hard because it's going to take an area um, as its argument. So basically what we just need to do is find the entities. In fact, we can do self uh, this is a tick though. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, self entity list equals the player surface 
find entities filtered. The area is going to be self.area. Um, and actually what we need to do is we need to catch each of the, um, we need to catch each of the kinds of things that could be blocking. So it could also be rocks uh, as well as trees. That's a little bit tricky, but um, maybe we'll just do trees for now and we can, uh, we can burn that other bridge when we get there. Type of this tree. Um, so in my move to point task, I do actually have a list of things that uh, create collisions, uh, I think. Yes. Um, stone rock and small rock are like doodads, I think. I don't know if all doodads are collisions. Um, the Lua API is not super clear on uh, what that will do. But let's just go with type equals tree for now. Um, so it could be that that's an empty list. In which case, great. Uh, however, it may not be. So for I entity uh, in pairs of self entity list, we are going to in queue a uh, mine entity task for that entity. Okay, and that will handle the moving to that position that's close enough for it to dig dig, uh, dig out, whatever that happens to be, uh, and then also handle the clearing of it. Now, if we happen to come back to this tick and we have not cleared all the entities, this will get repopulated anyway. So that will be okay, I think. I'm pretty sure this will work. So now let's go back to here, and instead of setting this as our goal, uh, what I'm going to actually do is set a goal to be the clear area, and this is going to be my area. So I'm actually going to do this. This is going to be a clear area task new. This is going to be the area. We don't care about the type tree, although it would make a difference anyway. That looks correct. Okay, great. Then we're going to delete that stuff. Okay. So now I just need to require the clear area task. Okay. Uh, now we should see uh, he'll run around for a really long time trying to clear out all the trees. Um, we could do some more work in the clear area task to... Um, make sure that we clear only the trees that are closest first probably is a good way to um, to work on it so we could do that here as well sort the list by distance um, but we can do that later so let's make sure see if this will work please spawn me in the middle of a giant forest oh hey we got an error uh, control 39 did I mess up my I did don't have a matching bracket wouldn't be real if it didn't mess up the syntax the first time. Of course it spawned me in an area with no trees. And again. Hey, there we go. Alright, so let's see what he does. No, you got stuck. No, you got stuck again. All right, let's do the thing to make him hit, hit the closest trees first. Um, okay. Uh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, we need to make. We need to see if there's a good Lua table sort. Oh, table dot sort. What do you know? What the hell does it sort by? All 
All right. <sighs> the return nil is working. That's true. Okay, so we're gonna do this the kind of dumb way. Um, so we're gonna make this uh, entities by distance. It's gonna be uh, empty array. For each entity, we're going to get the distance between the player and the entity. So that's gonna be uh, util distance player dot position entity dot position. Okay. If I have something at that distance already, that is to say, if there is another entity at exactly the same distance, um, this would be problematic because it means we'll have to run backwards and forwards between the two um, two things. That's okay. Uh, so if entities by distance uh, of that distance uh, equals nil, oh, sorry, in this case, it's I don't have something with exactly this distance, then entities by distance, distance equals an empty array, because it could be multiple things at the same distance. Then we're going to put the entity into that array. So entities by distance at the item distance equal, uh, yeah, at that item distance, at the length of that array, plus one, is going to be my new entity. My, yeah, the current entity, great. <laughs> it's stupid, the way you're stupid. Uh, okay, so, Put these names into array, you can sort them. However, if you create an array with those names, then sort it, and finally print the result. Wait, what is F? What the fuck is F here? Optional parameter F allows the specification of an alternative order. Okay, so... So this is the documentation. For the Lua table. The table library. So this is the documentation for the Lua table library. However, it has two different alternatives for table.sort. Table.sort here. Table.sort A with F. Whatever F is. Um, and it doesn't tell you how to use them. Next page is string library. Table concat, table for each, table for each i, table sort comp. Oh, okay. So I okay, great. So I can just do this, and I can sort the. Uh, okay, cool, awesome. Comes with a sort. Don't need that. Um, entity list equals table dot sort 